Hi campers, my name is Roy Gorey and I am the CEO of Manulife. I hope you're having a great camp experience. I hope you're having lots of fun and you're, lear you're learning a whole lot of new things along the way. So today I have the honor of reading you guys a book and I'm delighted to do this because it's a book that I loved when I was a kid growing up and the book's called Where the Wild Things Are and it's by Morris Sendak. So why don't we get started? The Night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. And another. His mother called him Wild Thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. There's Max going to bed. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Wow, look at his room, how it's changed. And an ocean tumbled with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. I think that's one of the wild things. There's Max, he's a little bit scared. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible crawl claws. Wow, that's kind of scary. Till Max said, be still and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Wow, they're scared of Max now. And made him the king of all wild things. Wow, you can see a crown on his head. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Oh wow, they, they look like they're dancing about it. They're having lots of fun. There's Max, there are the wild things and they're all dancing around the moon. And now they're hanging on the vines. One of the wild things is giving Max a piggyback. Now stop, said Max, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be somewhere with, where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks 
and through a day. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. There it is on the table. And it was still hot. So I hope you liked that book. It was one of my favorite books growing up and I hope you enjoyed it too. Have a great camp experience. Bye for now.